after watching my video in the third round of qualifying for the Europa Conference League, Maccabi Tel Aviv versus Aris, the Maccabi fans seem to share the same request. It is Maccabi Tel Aviv against Nice, of course, of Liga. It's the Europa Conference League playoff round. Let's just say the atmosphere tonight is going to be nothing short of sensational. I had to come back after that game against Aris here two weeks ago. Today will exceed that. There are 10,000 more Maccabi fans in the stadium tonight. It is going to be absolutely incredible. We are in for one hell of a match. Eran Zahavi starts for Maccabi, his first start for the club since returning to them just a month ago. He is sure to hit the back of the net tonight. I am so, so excited for this one. Let's go, Maccabi. display is ready at Bloomfield. Take a look at this. One reason to live. Maccabi Tel Aviv. This just shows the extent of the importance of football in this country. It is these people's lives. The noise around this place is incredible. What a display. And can't really tell. We're all well out. Yellow sort of bibs, plastic bags, whatever they are, they're body, body suits. We all look like absolute monks, but it's creating a yellow and blue display, which I can't really show you because I'm in that display. You can kind of tell that that is just sensational. We are moments away from kickoff, and over there to my right are the OGC Neat Ultras, about 200 of them there. This roar is incredible! Here are the teams, Nice and Maccabi Tel Aviv. The Nice away fans greet their team, and we've actually got some familiar faces in this 11. Kasper Schmeichel, there in goal, recently signed from Leicester. There's Dante, ex Bayern Munich defender. And then my boy from Arsenal, Aaron Ramsey, over there in the middle. They could perhaps cause Maccabi issues tonight, but we're hoping not. My score prediction now, I'm going to be confident when Zahavi is on the field. Anything is possible tonight. 2 1 to Maccabi. Ring on the match. Come on. Come on. We are underway at Bloomfield. Here we go. Cheers for the away side. Every time. What a noise. What a noise. Somehow are not one nil up. I don't know how that hasn't gone in. What a mix. What a mix. 20 minutes in, it's been all nice from start to finish. They have had a better chance. They have come close to scoring, especially over there. Maccabi needs to step it up. Wow. Despite their team not putting in the best of performances for this first half an hour. The yellow and blue army are still in full voice. Nice come once again, and Maccabi try to attack, but they cannot do anything. This French team, I'm telling you, are actually very, very strong. Here we go! The final moment of this first half. Can Jovanovic create something? To Zahavi, no! That could have been a great chance. Yeah. Well, no 
free kick, says the referee. They come again. Oh. That's that for the first half. They waste their chance once again. The end of the first half time no at score. Bloomfield. No it is goalless yes. Maccabi nil, Nice nil. But I've got to say, the home team will be the happier of the two that it is still goalless. How Nice are not at least a goaler. I'll never know, and neither will the other 30,000 people inside this stadium. It's half time, nil nil. Actually, a decent result for Maccabi. Here we go. The second half is underway. One change made by Maccabi coach Vladimir Ivic. They have a new left winger on the pitch. Offir David Zana. Could he cause this Nice defence chaos? Maccabi found it very, very difficult to break them down. Could he be the answer to their solution straight away? Nice on the ball. This will be a very, very interesting second half. Listen to this noise as Kasper Schmeichel lines up his free kick. His goal kick, sorry. Oh! First real chance of this second half. We are over 20 minutes into it, and it's been, to be fair, a Harvey domination, not so much. But if I had to pick a team to score the next goal, at the moment it's looking like it's going to be the home side. They line up this free kick. Wow. That was very, very close from their striker, Andy Delors, Daniel Perez, and that was a Harvey goal to get some strong hands that I nearly slipped up. Wow! That is a shock to me. Eran Zahavi coming off the field. Replaced by ex Watford striker Stipe Perica. Zahavi has definitely not been his night tonight. I thought he'd get a goal, but I was wrong. He'll be hoping to return in style in Nice next Thursday in the second leg tonight has definitely not been his night but Parfait and Perita the new substitution they will be hoping to spark some light and some hope into this Maccabi team they really do need it with just over 20 minutes to play still goalless here we go The 